Hello, I am David Zanone, a technical marketing engineer here at Infoblox. And today we're here to talk about the new Blocks One feature, high availability for DHCP. In this video, we'll take a look at an overview of the DHCP high availability feature. Then I will show and explain a use case for this feature. After that, we will cover how to set up this feature and show the configuration with a live demo. And finally, we will recap with a short summary. Now let's take a quick look at an overview of the DHCP high availability feature. Blocks One's DHCP high availability allows for on-prem hosts with the DHCP service enabled to be added to one or more DHCP high availability groups. If one host experiences a service interruption, the other host in the high availability group will maintain the DHCP service. DHCP high availability allows for three configurations, active-active, active-passive, and advanced active-passive, also known as hub and spoke. This feature adds effective redundancy to the Blocks One DHCP service, delivering ease of mind for network administrators. Additionally, DHCP high availability allows for easy and flexible deployments of the Blocks One DHCP service. In this slide, I'll cover each high availability configuration. In the first configuration, Active Active, both DHCP servers distribute DHCP requests equally. If one server experiences an outage, the other server will maintain the DHCP service handling all DHCP requests until the afflicted server comes back up. Active Active benefits any environment where a high volume of DHCP requests may occur, and load is a concern. In the second configuration, Active Passive, only one DHCP server handles all DHCP requests. If the primary server experiences an outage, the other server will begin handling DHCP requests until the primary server comes back up. Active passive is beneficial in environments where load balancing is not a concern, but service uptime is. In the third and final configuration, advanced active passive, a passive server can be assigned to multiple HA groups. If an active server experiences an outage, the passive server will handle all DHCP requests that the effective high availability group was assigned to. When the primary server comes back up, it will begin serving DHCP requests again, returning the passive server back to standby. This configuration is also known as hub and spoke. Advanced active passive is beneficial in situations where many branches may exist, and service uptime is important. One passive server can exist as a backup to many branch locations, reducing the amount of servers required, while still maintaining the benefits of DHCP high availability. Now let's take a look at a use case for this feature. In this use case, two example DHCP servers will be shown in a high availability group, My DHCP HA group. These servers are in an active active configuration, distributing DHCP requests equally. Then, server two experiences a service outage. Due to being in an active active configuration, server one takes over all DHCP responsibilities from server two. After a brief period of time, Server 2 recovers from the outage. Server 2 then resumes serving the DHCP service in the high availability group, therefore equally distributing DHCP requests between Server 1 and Server 2 again. Now let's take a look at this use case in a live environment. By accessing the HA Groups tab in the IPAM DHCP space, we can see the DHCP high availability group, My DHCP HA group. Observe the columns associated with the high availability group. Note that this high availability group is in an active active configuration. Additionally, we can see the names and the configuration status of the DHCP servers involved in the lab. If desired, an admin can see more information by either editing the group or looking in the right hand sidebar. On the on prem host page, we can see the Blocks One servers that are in the DHCP high availability configuration. Note that both servers have a green check mark showing that all services are up and the devices are online. As described in the use case overview, DHCP HA Server 2 experiences an outage. We can see that the device is currently disconnected. By clicking on Server 1, we can see the details of the other device in the HA configuration. 
shown are the details of Server 1. Under the DHCP dropdown, we can see that Server 2 has experienced an outage. This also means that Server 1 is now handling all DHCP requests where the HA group is assigned. After a short period of time, Server 2 recovers from the outage. By looking at the details of both servers, we can see that both servers are actively serving DHCP. Now let's take a quick look at how to set up and configure this feature. First, create a DHCP HA group. Then, add two existing DHCP servers to the newly created high availability group and select the HA configuration desired. Finally, assign the DHCP high availability group to a desired subnet. Now let's take a look at how to set up the DHCP high availability feature in a live environment. On the IPAM DHCP page, click on High Availability Groups. Then, click on Create HA Group. In the Create HA Group wizard, give the high availability group a name. Then, select the desired high availability configuration. For this one, we will keep the default of Active Active. After that, select the two servers that you'd like to be in the HA group. Finally, click Save and Close to confirm the creation of the HA group. Now let's navigate to the subnet that our DHCP High Availability group will be serving. Once you are in the Edit Subnet panel, click on Select On-Prem Host and select the newly created DHCP High Availability group. Now our DHCP High Availability group will serve IPs to the subnet. If desired, you may configure Blocks 1 to notify you if a DHCP server in a high availability configuration experiences an outage. To accomplish this, click on Notifications under the Manage header. Then click on Notification Settings. And under Default Application Thresholds, expand Service Notifications and click the checkbox associated with DHCP service status. And finally, click Save and Close. Now when there is a DHCP outage on any on-prem host, you will be notified. Now let's review what we covered in this video. First, we looked at an overview of the Blocks 1 DHCP high availability feature and its benefits. Then, we covered a use case for this feature. Finally, we cover the configuration of this feature. Thank you for your time viewing this video. All documentation regarding the Blocks 1 DHCP high availability feature is located on the Infoblox documentation website, located at docs.infoblox.com. If you have any other concerns, questions, or comments, you can find myself or other Infoblox experts at the Infoblox community website, which is located at community.infoblox.com. Thanks again and have a great day.